When you learn and change your mindset to think about the long-term pleasure instead of the short-term pain, your life becomes so much better. Lots of new low weighing guys. When I first started this prep, I was 11 stone, which is about 154 pounds. I am now 10 stone 0.7, which is now about 147 pounds. So I've lost a good bit of weight in my first two weeks of prep, guys. And you expect that the first couple of weeks are always the easiest to lose weight. Your, your new body's getting used to your new diet, the new cardio regime. Your body's also flushing out all the bad stuff. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Before I have breakfast, guys, I just thought I would talk to you for a bit before I have breakfast, go train. Um, so yeah, about the weigh-in this morning, I'm actually meant to do that weigh-in dry with no food, no water in me, but I forgot I was doing a weigh-in this morning. And I had, I had, what did I have this morning? I had two eggs and I had three bacon medallions, so I did have a bit of food before that weigh-in this morning. But my first weigh-in I did completely dry, no food, no water in me. Well, I just want to talk to you guys as well about my current training split, which is back and chest on day one, legs, day two, day three, back and chest again, day four, legs. Then fifth day is shoulder and arms, and then on my sixth day I'm just training my lagging muscles. So that is my current training split. I said I'd talk to you guys about that in my first video. Um, also, I didn't have a vlog up last week, and the reason for that is my memory card. When I put it in my computer, it said the memory card need to format it, and then to format it means removing everything off the memory card. And I spent hours trying to retrieve the data off the memory card, but all the programs I tried to use, they all said they were free and they were free and they got back, they like managed to like get all my files back but then to actually save them on your computer you had to pay like £100 so I didn't think that it was worth it at this point. So that's why I didn't have a vlog last week, it's just simply because I lost all my footage. I also want to talk to you guys about my hunger level. So the first week of my prep, despite dropping my calories by 800, I didn't feel hungry at all and the reason for that is because before that I was in a surplus for so long I'd been feeding my body, overfeeding my body for I think about a year, maybe slightly over a year before that so the first week of my prep I wasn't hungry at all but I was losing weight very quickly and my cardio sessions, I was doing 20 minutes of cardio, I did 20 minutes of cardio every single day I'd actually posted a picture on Instagram which I'll put in the description box below um, of my physique after one week and abs were starting to come through so I had a little bit of a refeed, and by refeed I just mean I simply increased my carbs, I think by, it was by maybe 250, nearly 300, um, just because I felt I was getting lean too quickly and that's not something I wanted. If you are feeling hungry guys when you are um, on a cut or you're trying to lose weight, think about your food choices and what I mean by that is at the moment I'm eating a lot of rice. So the type of rice I'm eating is basmati rice and the reason for that is guys, when it's uncooked, when it's um, when you weigh it out and it's uncooked, it doesn't look like a lot of rice but the second you cook it, it sort of, the rice swells up and it becomes quite a lot of rice in your plate. So little things like that as well, I was trying to get 30 grams of carbs from fruit um, while on my prep and at the start of my prep I was eating one banana. Now I've changed my fruit from banana because Banana is quite high in sugar, so it's about 28 carbs per banana, but now I'm eating like half an apple, I'm eating grapes, I'm eating peaches, I'm eating watermelon. And you can get a whole lot more fruit than just half an apple worth. So look at your food choices, guys, review those, and you may find that the other foods will allow you to eat much more densely. You'll be able to have much more on your plate, but still eating within your calories. Although I am getting quite lean, quite kicked, guys, I am in the routine of doing my 20 minutes of cardio every single day. So if I continue to keep getting lean too quickly, I'm simply going to increase my food. Yes, I could stop doing my cardio, but now I'm in the routine of it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking it. And I don't want to stop that and then have to get back in that routine again. So I'm going to keep my cardio up. And if I need to, I'll increase my carbs and protein a little bit, but not too much. But I'm going to look at my body at the end of every single week and see how I'm looking and then decide then whether or not to increase my calories or not. I will do for you guys a physique update at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So I'm just gonna have some food now, a little bit of breakfast, a little bit more breakfast I should say, and then I'm going to train. So I'll see you guys at the gym. I'm gonna take you through this workout. So I started with four sets of wide grip pull-ups. Everything I did in this workout, I did four sets of, and I'll put the rep range on the screen. A question a lot of people ask me is, how do you develop a wide back? And I always say, wide grip pull-ups. I do them on every back day, and in my opinion, they're the best exercise to develop a wide back. 
When doing these, make sure you lean back slightly to flare out the lats and activate them as best as possible. I went on to my second movement, which is a seated cable row. Recently I've been doing a lot of different variations of cable rows, but in this exercise I just went for the standard cable row. The thing I want you to notice is my back is straight and I'm sitting upright. I'm using as little momentum as possible to get the weight to my back. I'm squeezing my back as hard as I can and contracting for 2 seconds before a slow 3 second negative. So the next movement, the third back movement I did was bent over rows. I did 2 sets of overhand grip and 2 sets of an underhand grip. I keep the weight in my heels, keep my core braced and a neutral spine. I wanted to do dead stop bent over rows, meaning I rest the bar at the bottom of the movement, but the rests were too high, so I made sure the bar was completely stopped before I brought the weight back up. I then went on to my first chest movement, which was a pause bench press. I'm doing this with a light weight because it's really difficult. You bring the bar to your mid chest, and the key for this exercise is when you bring it down to pause, you don't release the tension in your chest. It's easy to hold it at the bottom if you release the tension. Make sure you keep your back tight, scapula retracted and don't release tension. Pause, then explode back up and bring the weight down slowly. I superseted these with push ups to get as much blood into my chest as possible. From there I went on to my final back exercise which was a T bar row. All the weight is on my heels again which allows me to go lower. When doing back movements, a lot of people complain that their biceps fatigue quickly, which will happen, but a way to slow down that process is to think of your elbow doing the work instead of your biceps. So tell your elbow to go as far back as possible instead of thinking of your biceps doing the work. My next chest exercise was an inclined dumbbell press with a hex press negative. This allows me to target more of my chest without overly changing position. With the hex press phase of the movement, squeeze your chest the whole way through the negative part of the movement and do the same, exploding up. And finally I finish with cable flies until failure. I want to talk to you today about something that I've noticed people do. This isn't just in terms of weight loss, this is with many different situations throughout life. Most people base decisions on what's going to create pleasure in the short term instead of thinking long term. Yet, in order to succeed, most of the things we want and value require us to think about the long term pleasure and break through the wall of short term pain. Let me break this down to you guys and let me put it in terms of diet. We all know people who want to lose weight because they'll feel healthier, they'll look better in clothes they want, they'll feel more confident around a partner. But on the other hand, they give themselves reasons to avoid it. They have to go on a diet, they'll feel hungry, they, they can't eat the fatty foods they want, and they'll give themselves excuses like, oh I'll start after the holidays. We all know people like that guys, or maybe you are that sort of person. When people balance reasons this way, they tend to tip the scale in terms of putting things off. The potential pleasure of a slimmer figure is far outweighed by the short term pain of having to go on a diet. These people avoid the pain of feeling hungry and instead they, they get the tiny bit of pleasure that comes from eating crisps or whatever it happens to be and that works in the short term but long term they just end up feeling worse about themselves. When you learn and change your mindset to think about the long term pleasure instead of the short term pain, your life becomes so much better. Remember guys, anything valuable is worth breaking through that short term pain in order to gain that long term pleasure. That is eventually the end goal, that long term pleasure is what you have to think about constantly. Any kind of discipline requires breaking through pain and in my first video I said about using the experiences gained from this not just to become better at dieting but to become a better person overall and to use the discipline gained from this process in other aspects of your life. You could use this in fitness, you can use this in business, you could use this with your finances. For some people weight loss can be a lot of processes at once, a lot of new processes at once. You have to think about cardio, you have to think about weighing your food, you have to think about going to the gym every day, right? Weight loss can be eased into step by step. So first of all, try cleaning up your diet and getting the discipline of that done. Once you've got that, maybe drink a lot of fizzy drinks, try cutting those out of your diet. And if you do these simple things, you'll start to see the weight come off.
then try hitting your protein requirements. Maybe adding cardio in a couple of times a week and you'll get more into it. And all of a sudden these things will become second nature and you start to feel it more and you start to want to work out more. And before you know it guys, your entire lifestyle has changed. I've been practicing these different protocols for so long guys and I've given myself four months. That's a long time. I'm thinking about the long term. I'm not thinking about the short term pain. I don't care about that. I know by giving myself four months, I will reach my long term goal. And that's what I want you guys to think about, the long term. Remember guys, if you want to see the change that is possible over four months and you're doing this with me, you don't have to be the finished article by the end of this four months. You just have to be closer to the person you want to be by using these different discipline techniques to, to reach that goal and be the person you want to be. So remember guys, think long term pleasure over short term pain.